Hey guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause. In this video, I got my trailer. Outbound trailer, T-Rex model, it's their off-road version. I've waited about three months for it, and it's finally here. Check her out. Got her this morning. Bareback Hauling Company. Blake was the driver. I'm going to leave it in the description below, but uh, he'll drive anywhere in the country, pick it up, drop it off, whatever you need. So again, this is the Outbound Trailer. Uh, the name of the company is Outbound Trailers. Find it at www.outboundtrailers.com. The person that I spoke to, her name was Amber. She helped me through the whole process, um, but yeah absolutely beautiful couple upgrades that i got to it um, the lock and roll hitch so here's the trailer side i've got the uh the vehicle side right there haven't hooked it up because again just got it this morning it came super dirty from all the grime uh, on the back of that trailer from nebraska i'm sure all the salt and snow and rain here's the outbound logo it's got the t-rex right there that's pretty cool big old fenders can hold up to 250 pounds fuel rims 35 inch tires now this is something that kind of hurts me a little bit the tray the the wheels on my trailer are actually bigger than the wheels on my commander what's actually going to be hauling this beast so yeah i'm gonna to have to change that up because i do want every uh, i want everything to have the same rim and tires just in case something happens and i have to mix and match move things around so ideally eventually i'm gonna get 18 inch rims with the wild peak same rims and tires as the commander so in case I get a flat or something happens, I can move tires around. Diamond plated uh, front plus fenders. Black glossy paint. Again, I washed it this morning just to show you guys. Let's take a look inside. So it's a five by eight model five foot wide eight feet long now let's talk about cost so three months ago when I went on the website and I built it up uh, the standard trailer t-rex model itself the off-road version um, with the 3,500 pound axles uh, the 35 inch tires three months ago was 11,495. That was the, the standard model without any upgrades. With all my upgrades, my grand total came out to 13,2, I wanna say, 13,2. Um, and I'll talk about the upgrades in a second. But also with the standard model, it only comes with one door, this uh, passenger side door. So as far as the upgrades go, first upgrade was I ordered a driver's side door this upgrade right here was three hundred and seventy five dollars again just another solid door on the other side so I can access stuff from this side so I don't have to reach uh, across so I wanted to make sure that was there another upgrade were the jacks so they call this the t-rex the uh, jack and it's just because it's a lot beefier if you look on their website they have different models uh, other options and the jacks for those options are a lot smaller so these are, these are pretty beefy to be able to hold this big old trailer stabilize it uh, the upgrade for the jacks were 375 dollars and you have the option of mounting it here or you can mount it back here but that's if you don't have this door in place another option was this back door 
This option costs $750, but it opens up into this huge galley area. And then of course, all of this uh, is, is optional. You can have the wall going all the way straight down. You can have no wall at all, um, but this, this is standard. So whatever length you want it, they'll cut it. Um, originally, the shelf came down uh, about right here and the point of contact, her name is Amber. I asked her if we could bring this shelf up to have about 22 inches from the bottom floorboard to the top of the shelf. That way I'm able to fit my, my fridge slide and fridge plus the Pelican, uh, Pelican case. Future plans, I wanna put a drop down table here to have more, more counter space. But this is gonna be the kitchen area. While still being back here, another upgrade was the rear hitch. Um, I wanted this option because you just never know whether it's a, a tire, or excuse me, a bike rack or one of those rear grills or you know whatever the recovery point. I wanted something uh, in case I get stuck. I could pull it out. Whatever the case is, I wanted a rear hitch. And this addition was 200, 200 doll hairs. Another addition was the roof rack. So roof rack, two bars going across, $235 for that. Now, something that I could have done, could have easily added this on here, but I wanted it to come from the factory. I wanted to make sure it was done right, no leaks on the roof, because you definitely have to drill through the uh, aluminum. When you get the T-Rex model, the uh, standard color is white. So it's an upgrade to paint it any other color. They give you options on their website. They have a blue or red. I chose black because of course, got a match. And the upgrade to uh, paint it was $250. And then the last upgrade is this lock and roll hitch. Uh, this cost $525. So I've got the, uh, the trailer, trailer in here mounted and then I have the uh, vehicle side on the ground right here. Prices have gone up since the last time. So again, I ordered this the middle of January. Prices have gone up on qui uh, quite a few of the options. So just look through it. Um, it's a beautiful trailer. It's well built. It's my first, first review on it. The family and I plan to take her out uh, within the next couple weeks. We'll go camping and then I'll give you an updated review. As far as future plans, um, again, I think I'm going to put my dual battery and my water against the front because I want majority of the weight up here. There's, there is going to be quite a bit of weight on the, on the rear because of the fridge slide and the fridge. Those two things together probably come close to 120 to 140 pounds. And then on this side um, of the trailer is going to be the Pelican case with all the kitchen stuff, which doesn't weigh that much. But between the water, the battery, the DC to DC charge, the majority of the weight is going to be up front. And then all this area, uh, maybe I'll make dividers or something, but the t big tent will be here, gear, and all the other stuff. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of all the stickers. I'm not a big sticker guy. So you can see on my commander, I have nothing. Um, so more than likely, that's coming off. Maybe that's coming off. I'll probably leave this back one. That's coming off. That and that. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave one of them, but I don't like all the stickers all over the place. Um, again, guys, Outbound Trailer, check them out on their website. And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Take care and see you next video.